Yeah, this is a great little day day pack. Um, actually, it's got a number of uses. I like smaller packs too because I got I got um, Army Mountain Pack. I got the Alice Pack, all-purpose lightweight individual carrying equipment from the military, and I got a bigger version of this. But the small version is probably the most handy. It's by Bulldog, and uh, it's got a lot of different compartments on it. Now, I know you know about backpacks and stuff, but I'm going to tell you a couple things where. This thing's got multi-purposes. Well, first, I like that you got the chest strap, so when you're wearing it, you know, it keeps these um, in place. And then you got the O-rings on here where you can even hang something off. It's minor, like maybe a compass or something like that, or I don't know, uh, water filter, fine. Um, you also have the waist strap, and so you have the chest strap, and then you have the... Um, quick release and also it pulls down tight you know if you want to put the straps on tight but what I like about it like a lot of people just don't go hiking you know and it's another thing but there's several things that other things that people do and you don't need a separate duffel bag I like these better than a duffel bag one you can wear them when you're on bicycling this is not too heavy to wear on your back where it affects your balance unless you're putting lead in it or something like that because if you're on a bicycle you don't want to be too top heavy now, the other thing is, you can put it on a simple rack like this. This is like a six, seven dollar rack. It's like a Wally World one. I like it because it's good for small stuff. I know it's better to have the panniers on the sides because you got lower center of gravity. But as long as you're not carrying a lot of weight, you would you would want to use this like in hot weather because if you have this against your back in hot weather, you know you'd be sweating, even though it's mesh you know it's it's designed to keep it somewhat away from your back and air cooled now if you're in cool weather this is the deal to have though you want to wear it on your back right but there is a lot of cargo space in here and all these little compartments are extremely handy um, it's got big wide zippers on it you can see these are not chintzy zippers these are really thick right which, you know, I guess it could be lockable, but, you know, I don't know how good that's going to do. You got compartments on the front. You got these little slats on the side. Say, for instance, you want to put, um, you know, a pickaxe in here, like the old-fashioned uh, e-tool from the World War II that had the handle. You could put that in there. Um, maybe you can even put your knife in there, too, with the sheath. Like, attach the sheath to this permanently. So, it's got a lot of different compartments, and, you know... It's got it expands pretty good too so you got a, two little compartments out here you got another compartment here then you got the big compartment down here and you can notice the size of these zippers these are not crappy zippers they're not gonna break that easy that's one of the biggest problems with packs freaking zippers add some stuff that lasts a long time and it's cushioned on the back there's a nice cushion back here probably can't see that that well because you can feel it you know you can feel it now the other thing is straps are very heavily padded but it's still very lightweight and one thing I'm gonna tell you a couple more uses for this thing too but another thing you want to do is you want to waterproof it with something like this but you don't really need to waterproof the bottom I mainly get the top the most then down the sides but I don't get the bottom because if there's water that's collected in there I want it to be able to seep through the bottom anyway because the zippers aren't 100% waterproof you know you know that but still having this on a pack in a pretty hard day you know down downpour it still would keep stuff in there pretty dry and if it's breathable fine so I leave the bottom of it breathable mainly get the top with the waterproofing but this thing is also perfect for going to the gym. You know how people take stuff to the gym? Well, you could cinch these down more. You could pull these down more and uh, use it, you know, use this like a handle, right? And you could tie this off in a square knot, and you got a handle. Then you got a handle, right? You could just tie off these end straps with a square knot, and then you got a handle. So you got a duffel bag, right? What the hell? Now I'm going to show you something else I do with it too. 
because you can use this on okay day pack probably that's the least amount I would do I don't know how many I don't really go day hiking you know I go to the gym go bicycling and I also go motorcycling but this is also good for a computer bag because you know it's not perfect but the laptop fits in here just perfect it's not too too big it's not too small like the smaller laptops would fit in here the little seven inch screen ones they'd fit in here the bigger ones would fit in the bigger compartment so that's why this little one's kind of cool now also I'll show you what I do on a motorcycle because uh, I like packs like this versus the stuff you use that's specialized for a motorcycle because the way I set up these going around the, around the back okay on this one um, I just uh, there's a couple straps and what I like to do is I take the um, the shoulder straps and I put them around the uh, tail lights in the back you could do that pretty much in any bike uh, this is just a sportster um, but I kind of wrapped them around I used the chain because the chain is already around the tail lights and uh, the, the uh, waist strap just wrapped it a few times around the uh, sissy bar and I clipped it so it's on there pretty secure and uh, if you want you can always add always add this I usually put this bungee cord on it which is not a crappy bungee cord it's like one of those regular rubby rubber ones and uh, you know it'll go through the tail lights or something or the sissy bar to the tail light or something like that and a um, little mini sissy bar right <laughs> so you don't fall off the back of it uh, and it, it's like a lot more convenient than um, you know having like a specialized motorcycle pack because you got a lot of compartments in here you can you know it's like okay you can't carry a passenger you usually don't carry a passenger anyway but I have the shocks set up for the springs in the back for passenger and the, the uh, tire pressure 40 pounds in the back but you can get that stuff pretty easy you know that's the thing and I don't like wearing it when I'm riding a motorcycle when I'm riding a bicycle if it's cold out I'm okay with wearing it with a motorcycle I never like wearing the backpack because just a few pounds affects your balance you know I don't like that at all I know it does it on a bicycle but somehow the motorcycle I just don't like freaking wearing it I'd rather have it set up like this but you know they got these tank backpacks you know you can stick on your tank stuff like that I mean they got motorcycle packs you can put on here this works fine this works absolutely fine and you got the quick disconnects anyway and, and it comes off pretty quick so you can just disconnect it with the quick disconnects like these right here the one in the back you know one in each side and it pops off and you take your stuff with you and the stuff I keep in my saddlebags is like the rain suit um, I wouldn't put the rain suit in there Marvel mystery oil fix a flat uh, mini tire pump, tire patches, um, also the points. I got the six-cylinder Chevy points in the back in the saddlebags. In case you, I don't know why, I just white. Never trust electronic ignitions, you know. Still don't. <laughs> They've been out eight million years. Um, and uh, a couple other things like that. A couple tools, not too many, you know. Uh, so, you know, that's always in the backpack, especially the rain suit, man. Holy shit. But actually, if you were in a serious storm and you want to block a lot of wind, you could always take this thing off and wear it backwards, put it on the front of you. And that's 90% of your problem is like the wind beating against your chest. And uh, it wouldn't be, you know, with a small pack like this, you could do it. But boy, that would block it. That would really, this would stop all the wind with all these layers right on your chest to keep you from getting hyperthermia so it's got a lot of different uses man a lot of different uses it's always better to ride with other people because if you can freaking park your bike someplace somebody can watch it you know what I mean but uh, that's one thing I hate about bikes man you can't park them anywhere without uh, having a guard out there right so but you know if you got your guard out there you can always leave your backpack on there so you guard with your 45 ACP right anyway over now